With its bright colored walls and shiny new light fixtures, it's hard to believe Tangerine Boutique in Bayhead was destroyed by the storm, along with $100,000 worth of inventory. It's my baby. Um, it's what I do every day, and I love it. Uh, but there was no question it, I was going to rebuild. They opened about four weeks ago, about the same time La Luz Salon and Day Spa reopened its doors. Floodwaters inundated the business. Everything was lost to the storm. Um, I think the hardest part was where the money was going to come from to rebuild. But everything went on credit card, and uh, that's how we were able to get up and running. There are about 30 businesses in Bayhead. Almost every building that those 30 were housed in um, sustained damage. And, but it's, it's, it's good to say that every one of them should be open. But they're not all open yet. Boarded up windows serve as a reminder of the damage Sandy left behind. Bayhead Business Association's Eric Beyer expects 80% of retailers to open by Memorial Day. Buyer's store suffered minimal damage, but business is down 25 to 30 percent. Bayhead is more of like a destination town. You're coming down here because you've heard about it. You, you like what the town has to offer. So when the town's not offering all that, less people come down here. Farther up the parkway, we revisit Current Trends Hair Salon. We first reported on this business in November. Sandy decimated the building. I've lived a marshmallow life. I have a great husband and a great family, and I've never had anything, anything remotely uh, damaging in my world. So this was an absolute devastation for me. After months of grueling work, owner Tony McCudden is finally home. Unlike so many business owners along the shore who lost months of revenue, Current Trends didn't lose any business. And that's because they were welcomed into this salon free of charge. They operated here for the past five months. Julie Henderson is co-owner of Formula 2 Hair Designers. Just as much as we gave them, they gave back to us, just in a different way. If God forbid something ever happened like that, I would hope to God that somebody would take us in. We're actually competitors in, in a world prior to Sandy. We are no longer competitors. We are really, we're just the best of friends now. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Shark River Hills.